Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nintendo Prime Podcast, episode 23. If you are watching this on YouTube, I deeply apologize. Um, we are going to have a shortened week this week, and I'm missing my camera equipment. It's really weird. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. I figure I'd be more prepared than this, but uh, there's a reason I'm not as prepared as normal today. And that's because of the two topics we're going to talk about are essentially two games. And I know we normally go with five topics but two games released last week. Released. Released last, last week. Uh, and we have both of them in the office. And we'll, I'll probably eventually get some reviews up for these soon. Um, but before we do any official review capacities, let's just talk about our experience with the games. And we'll start with the game we just finished up. The reason that this podcast is recorded so late and I can't find my camera equipment. Mr. Puyo Puyo Tetris. Oh, yeah. Uh so, what is Puyo Puyo Tetris? Puyo Puyo Tetris. It's a game that com- combos Puyo Puyo and Tetris. All right. And it, it's let, pretty much exactly what the name let's says. Let's be clear. Eric and I have never heard of Puyo Puyo before yes, today. Yes, no. And apparently well, I'm way I, better at that than you are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Puyo Puyo is obviously another kind of puzzle kind of game, like Tetris and Dr. Mario and all those out there. Yeah, it feels more like Dr. More Mario. More like Dr. Mario. Um, you're way better making your combo hits on that, you bastard. <laughs> um, so... Uh, what, what's cool about Puyo Puyo Tetris, it has a story mode. only played the first level of it. So, as I said, this is why I can't really say we're going to review the game right now because I haven't experienced the full single-player mode, which I have to do beforehand. But here's, here's the thing. This game feels like it's for multiplayer. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, I don't know if the single-player mode is going to do it for me. I don't know. It seems silly so far. Yeah. yeah. Kiki, Kiki! No, no. It's pee It's pee pee. It's pee pee. You got to remember, pee pee. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyways... Uh, so, it's a puzzle game that combines Tetris and Puyo Puyo. Uh, we were playing it, God, it, it, we started, I thought we were going to play for 10 minutes, and we ended up playing for like an hour. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Whoops. What are your thoughts about this game? I like it. I, I'm not good at Tetris, but apparently I'm halfway decent at Puyo Puyo. <laughs> Who would have known? <laughs> so, yeah. like, I, put a, you know how bad he is at Tetris? He didn't even know what a Tetris was. I haven't played Tetris in God knows how long. But everybody Plus, knows it's a max line clear with a straight piece. And I haven't played Tetris since I was like eight. Yeah, well, I've never really liked Tetris. As I, I as, can be, as can be as can be shown by me how frustrated blowing you. Every, every, so it's, bad at it's it. It's not just you blowing. It is you. <laughs> I don't know how many times <laughs> Every it was... time it switches to Tetris. Because, okay, so... Let's explain what happens in this game, okay? So in the multiplayer mode, there's all these different game modes. And the most frustrating one for someone who doesn't like Puyo Puyo or doesn't like Tetris is swap mode Mm -hmm. because the game switches back and forth between Tetris and Puyo Puyo. It can also be extremely frustrating, I guess, in the one that has the combo mode where they combine them. We didn't play enough of that one. But uh, the swap mode was a lot of fun. And... What what's crazy is like I'm really good at Tetris, so if I get a Tetris, it's gonna you know give you a bunch of extra lines that screws you on Tetris, but then you'll turn around Puyo Puyo, get like a sick three or four combo, yeah. and then I'm fucked on Puyo Puyo because yeah, I don't or, know how or to or depending do on when it when it hits, when it, it, hits it, 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 it pops over into yeah, Tetris. Yeah, that screws yeah. me on Tetris because yeah. your combo was a bigger hit than my Tetris was, right. which is the biggest thing you can get in the Tetris is Tetris. Right. So it's crazy. Um, I had a lot of fun with this game. Yeah. And, and, and that's probably the takeaway that will end up in the review is that it's just fun. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's not complex, although it can be. It can, I can see this being, like, super competitive. Oh, yeah. Um, especially between us. Oh, well, especially <laughs> between us. Like, I just said, dude, this, this is how we're up to me. Like, uh, when, when we do fantasy drafts on Madden in the future, yeah. like, who's who's uh, who's going to get this trade for X player? Yeah. Settle it. Puyo Puyo Tetris style, baby. Yeah. Um, okay, as long as we don't go Big Bang and, and I end up with oh. Puyo Puyo. Oh, Big Bang. The Big Ugh. Bang was probably the one I, I didn't like the most. Uh, it was fine. It was just... Well, here's, it had no, no, here's so what much I don't an like advantage about, of here, here's Tetris. What, here's what I don't like about the Big Bang one is that I, I picked Tetris for it. You picked Puyo Puyo. And essentially what the game is doing is it's pattern recognition. And it's just you need to put your, your pieces in the right spot to clear the level. Mm-hmm. And... Puyu Puyu is a little bit more complex in how you need to think about it, mm-hmm. whereas in Tetris, it's just fit it in the it's put a square peg in a square hole, right? And it's just rip, rinse and repeat over and over. Like it's really easy. Mm-hmm. Um, and 
I, I can imagine that there's probably Puyo Puyo players out there. I think Puyo Puyo is more popular in Japan. That'll be like, uh, no, it's so freaking obvious where every piece goes. Yeah. Um, but for us who grew up with Tetris and not Puyo Puyo, it's kind of like, okay, it's not exactly super obvious when it pops up where the right spot is to drop that piece. Yeah, right. Um, and it kind of gives Puyo Puyo players, especially in North America, a disadvantage over Tetris players yeah. in that mode. Yeah. Um, now, we never win Tetris against Tetris in that mode. I still think I would win because I'm better at Tetris than you. Yeah, it's but that doesn't. It. It, it's so easy. It's so obvious. You'd have to like try to screw up. Oh, don't worry. I'd find a way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just that bad at Tetris. Yeah, but it it's fun. I'm actually surprised how fun. Put it this way. The hour we put in the Puyo Puyo, besides my Mario Kart live streams, it is the most off live stream I have played between Puyo Puyo and, Tet- and, and Mario Kart. And who would have thought that I would have played more of Puyo Puyo Tetris than Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? Right. Now, part of that's because the things I'm excited about Mario, K- Mario Kart are like the battle modes. And we'll get to that in a little bit. But um, Puyo Puyo Tetris was something I didn't know what to expect, except that I saw some friends of mine who invited me to play it the day it came out, and mm-hmm. I was out of town. Um, and all I saw on Facebook was them complaining, Damn you, Puyo Puyo! Fucking Tetris! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, it's it, it, I'm just like, I gotta try it. I gotta go get it. I gotta try it out. And man. Yeah. I like. I, I have a feeling that if you and Yulia play this, it, she's gonna be. She's gonna be mad at me. Punching you multiple times. Especially since now I kind of understand Puyo Puyo a little bit. And yeah. She's just like, yeah. What the fuck is Puyo Puyo? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. You're gonna um, get, you're gonna hit multiple times. And she's it. just gonna she's just gonna grab my switch and play it all night. That's right. just the way it is. Right. Um, but that's what's so great about this game is, um, I'm not I'm traditionally not like a puzzle gamer. Uh, you know, I'm more into the the action adventure games, the RPGs, right. Even you know, shooter games, bang bang, pew pew, woo hoo. Um, <laughs> but for some reason, Puyo Puyo Tetris is just it's just fun. I mean, there what else is there to say besides it's just fun. It doesn't. It's like for all skill levels, um, and again, I haven't played much of the single player mode. But I will say, it looks absolutely silly and ridiculous right. as it, it should did. be. It, it, it and is. apparently, I think it's probably more themed around Puyo Puyo than Tetris. I think I don't know what Puyo Puyo games are actually like yeah, when right. it's just Puyo Puyo. Yeah. Do they have these big, long, weird, awkward story modes? Right. Where apparently, when a Puyo Puyo blows up, it can randomly transport you to a new world. It's like apparently, what, what the hell? I don't know. Oh, are all my friends gonna drop in from the sky? Hey, here they are. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That was just ridiculous. And then some of the some of the sounds that some of the characters make, it's like, wait, what? <laughs> oh. But uh what I will say is I can see us playing this game a ton. Like I almost want to stop the podcast and play some more because that's how fun it was. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, yeah. It, it was it was definitely fun. You know, the, there's some modes that we need to go back and play some more of, like the one that gives you the the, uh, the extra item abilities. Like, oh yeah, I, uh, I crushed you, you in that one because you kept screwing me every time <laughs> you got the ability to rapid drop my items. Oh yeah, I'm like, oh no, no, it's who's better at Puyo Puyo, who's better at Tetris, and just who's better, just go. Yep. That was a fun mode. Yeah, it was. Um, it it's. The thing is, this whole time, because you and I aren't aren't on camera, I'm gonna have some, I'm gonna record some footage. Have some footage of Puyo Puyo up. Yeah, I was gonna say. In fact, maybe after this, we'll we'll record some matches between us, so it's not yeah. me against a computer. Yeah. Um, but because you know, <laughs> Nintendo's not gonna claim this one because it's not a Nintendo game. Right. Um, it it's just fun. You know, you've been watching it this whole time. You've been hearing us talking about. It. I mean, there isn't much to say right now except it's fun. Once I finish the story mode, that's when I'll I'll throw up a re- an actual review. Um, and maybe I'll do a, 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 even a video review. We'll see. Because um, our review of Breath of the Wild was a little different. It was just us talking about Breath of the Wild for the most part. Um, and then I wrote a, I wrote a written review. But I'm kind of in between on what to do with video reviews. Like, do I want to do full IGN, Easy Allies, traditional, in, even, you know, Angry Joe style. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, go point by point, half hour long videos. Or do I just want to be like, let's just talk about it? Because that's kind of what we're doing now. Right. But I feel like we don't know enough of the story mode yet to do. Right. A full a full thing of talk. That. We can talk about the, the multiplayer oh. you know, matches. Yeah, but. we didn't do any online. Um, and I don't even know if it, we, I, we, maybe we'll do that next. Uh, see if we could play online with us two local on a system against two other people. Um, maybe. Because it does have up to four players. For oh, really? Player. Interesting. Yes. Um, but yeah, it's, man. I'm surprised at how, like, it's so simple. Mm-hmm. 
But the way it mixes everything and like the swapping mode and even the power up modes, you don't know what's happening. You're just clearing lines and next thing you know, things go nuts. Right. I, it's just fun because it's it, even as predictable, like, oh, I can see what pieces are coming next. The game throws wrenches at you that makes it unpredictable. Oh, yeah. In multiplayer. And that's mm-hmm. amazingly awesome. Seriously. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. If you guys have have ever enjoyed a Tetris game in the past or any sort of... Say you you like Candy Crush on your phone or whatever. Mm-hmm. This is the kind of game you're going to love. Yeah. And that's why I'm afraid to let my girlfriend play. Because <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> right? she's not going to be able to stop. Um. But let's transition into the other game that released last week. The game that's sold over a million copies worldwide in three days. Wow. Mr. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Yeah. A remaster plus new content of Mario Kart 8 off of Wii U. Uh, By all accounts, it is the superior version of Mario Kart, both technically and just in terms of content. Uh, And a lot of people are saying, like, this is the definitive Mario Kart. There is no Mario Kart better than this one. Um, Now, obviously, subjective opinions, blah, 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 fond memories of the N64 era, running through my mind. But, I mean, is it really better than this one? No, probably not. Nostalgia goggles, maybe a little on that? maybe. And the thing is, nostalgia's not a negative. It's just... No, no, no. I, I can't think of anything wrong with Mario Kart 8 off the top of my head. The only, the only thing that's weird, and this is going to be weird for people who didn't play Mario Kart 8 on Wii U, is that all the courses are unlocked right away. No, oh, yeah. Um, that's, you know, Mario Kart usually makes you earn the courses. Now, you still have to earn your cars and get coins. Like, there's still a point to, to race and get coins and earn, earn your car vehicle right. parts and stuff. Right. But the fact that all the courses are unlocked, I, I know it's supposed to be also Wii U players don't have to redo everything to unlock the courses, but mm-hmm. at the same point, it's like, well, yeah, but how many people owned a Wii U. You really need to cater more to that audience? A lot of people yeah, with Wii U aren't right. even getting this unless they want to do online. Right. Um, but we... I, I've, I've ran a couple tournaments and stuff, and again, it's a lot like Mario Kart 8, because it is Mario Kart 8. Yeah. But what Mario Kart 8 and Wii U did not have was a proper battle mode. Had some super ridiculous racing around normal tracks and shooting shells at each other thing that was really stupid. Yeah. It was the worst multiplayer, I think, that's ever existed in Mario Kart. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say. Oh, they brought back a proper battle mode with, I think it's four different types. You had star, you had the Shining Star. Yep, the Shine. Yeah. You got the Cops yeah, and got, Robbers. You got the Shine. You got Cops and Robbers. Um, or whatever they call it. Yeah, it's Cops yeah. and Robbers. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and uh, they had the, the normal the, the normal uh, balloon, balloon pop. Battle. And then Bloom battle, yep. Bomb bombs, and then bomb the bombs, yep. and then was there any other? One? Oh, yes, there was. There's five. Also, the coin, coin mode. You had to collect. Oh, yeah, yeah, coins. coins yep. Uh, so we did some online matches of that. We could have done just us two with computer people, or just us two against each other. But these, well, it's more fun. It's more fun with more people. And and playing with actual people. Yeah. Um, like, oh, I'm, I'm coming to get you, Jake. Yeah. I'm coming after you. I don't know who you are. I don't care. You yeah, have no right? idea. I'm tailing your ass. Right. Right. Um, and and. Yes, Darren, I played as Dry Bones. <laughs> uh, in fact, I think uh, on the... Because li- there's actually a tournament going on Mario Kart 8 right now for Nintendo Prime, which by the time you guys hear this, it'll be over. But uh, you need to just start paying attention more to our Facebook page and our Twitch, especially twitch.tv slash Nintendo Prime. Uh, 5J Gaming streams on our channel every weekend, and he's been doing Mario Kart tournaments now, so we'll see how long he does that for. But we have a $20 tournament going on. It's already ended by the time you hear this, so yeah, sorry. Because yeah. it ends, it ended on Sunday at 11.30 at night, and it's been going on for a week. Ah. So we'll see. I'll, I'll be doing a live stream before this even goes up of my final. I have 28 races off to do it because it's a 48 race tournament. Mm-hmm. Um, and if I get number one, it doesn't matter. It'll, be, it'll go to number two. Yeah. It's not like I'm going to be like, i got to get number one, so I don't have to pay anyone. Yeah. Although that'd be a nice challenge for myself. Like, now I really want to win. Maybe yeah. I shouldn't live stream so I can, instead of worrying about that, I can worry about winning. Yeah, yeah, right. right <laughs> but no, that's yeah. not how no. it goes. I've already committed to it. So, uh, the big deal, I guess, with the, with the battle mode uh, is that it's back. And what are your thoughts? Because, obviously, this is a callback to N64 era thrown in with a whole bunch of new modes that didn't exist back then. So, just initial thoughts. Mr. Old School Eric. Hmm. 
I do like it. I like it a lot, actually. Um, some are better than others. I, I think I actually kind of like Cops and Robbers the best. I don't know why, but it was it was Crazy. quite fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, something always, ha- always yeah. happening. And, and then, I mean, the bomb one is really nuts. It, nuts, and it especially towards the end. Yeah. yeah, especially towards the end too. It's like, oh my bombs. god! Yeah. Yeah. There's bombs flying everywhere. The other ones are okay. I mean, it the balloon one is just you know old school. Yeah, Mario Kart, which is fine. Yeah. It, it, but it doesn't seem as fun as some of the other well, ones. Well, here's my issue. Here's the one thing that I wish they would have... I liked all the additional modes, but in the balloon one, I wish they would have made it like it was back in the day. Back in the day in the N64, the big difference between that one and this one is that it wasn't about who hit who and how many times you hit people. It was about who had their last balloon. Left. Right, yeah. that would. Yeah. And there's no that's... mode in this right now that's... Who is the last one with the balloon left? No, once five balloons pop, you're back up with three. Yeah. And I understand it. Like, I guess the idea is to keep people entertained and keep them engaged. But that's when you just turn them into Obama and let them blow somebody up. Exactly. Like they They're did done. in the 64. Yeah. That, that, that's what I'm saying. It's, it, it's, it feels like they misunderstood why that particular mode was popular on, on back yeah. in the day. Because, yeah. yes, someone could be that dick and just go high. But guess what? When there's only two people left, the hiding ain't going to work anymore. Yeah, nope, nope. So uh, it's one of those things that I wish they would have had that classic mode back where it's just survival of the fittest. You have five balloons. Once they're all popped, you're done. Right. Um, and when you're, I mean, you're not done. You're a bomb mom trying to find people. That's and the then once, like, well, but once like, you blow even up, even if you're, you're trying to hide but, back in a corner, guess all those bomb moms are going to get to you yeah. eventually. Right. And, and, you know, and that was the one thing, too. I mean, yeah, you're just put a bomb mom once, and once you blow up, well, you're done. But yeah. that still is so much more fun than, well, guess what? I pop back in. whoop de doo Yeah. I mean, even, even if they want to be like, oh, what would be cool is if, uh, it, going with that bomb bomb thing, you start off initially, no, no, you don't start off initially as a bomb bomb. You come back as a green shell, just randomly spawn, and you get to spin around and decide which direction you're going to shoot. And then you just watch it go nuts as it's bouncing all over. That could be and interesting. Then, uh, and then the next time you start off, uh, you come back after the green shell is done, and you start off as, say, um, I don't know, an oil slip or something. Mm-hmm. And you just start like oozing along, like what the fuck is that thing moving on the ground? Yeah. Uh, and then finally, it ends up after someone slips on that, it ends up as a bomb bomb as your final one. Because yeah. then it keeps you changing up the gameplay a little bit and forcing yeah. the other players to be like, yeah, just because we eliminated those guys, eh, they can still impact us and hurt right. us, right? And take us out, right? Um, but that's the thing. It, it's that's the only complaint I have. Um, in terms of their additions, like I, I think. I think it's clever what they did um, with most of the modes. Like, yeah, Cops and Robbers is a lot of fun, uh, but I feel like a lot of these modes are going to hit with different people. Some people are going to love that that coin, you know, collecting those coins. Yeah. Um, Some people are going to love the shine. Mm -hmm. And and you you have to – there's a trick to it, like that shine mode, you know, because everyone's chasing after one person. It's keep away. You're Mm -hmm. playing the game of keep away. Well, it's kind of like oddball in Halo. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's fun. It, it really is. And some, some of it's luck. You'll fly right by it, right past the thing, thing and you have yep. it. You know, you just hit them, and you're like, oh, I've hit them like every single time, but everyone else keeps getting it by you. Yep. Um, but it, and it's, it's crazy when you're doing it online, too, because you have to choose your card ahead of time, and you don't know what mode it's going to be. So, like, like in keep away mode, you want speed. But on other modes, you might care more about acceleration, more about cornering, more about this mm-hmm. and that. So, like, right. you pick your vehicle and you have no idea what you're going to play, which which is just an per- awesome thing about about that. Yeah. Uh, we haven't sat yeah, down yeah, and obviously sure. played four friends, like, old school back in the day, or get eight people together and try to try to go nuts. Yeah. Which, I, you know, would take two switches, I believe, because I don't think you can do eight on one. But still, it's one of those games that I am really glad they added the battle mode back in. I like what it is. Even, even the traditional... Popping the balloons. Yeah, um, it just kind of, like, to me, it just kind of felt like something was missing. And, yeah, in and, that, and, mode, yep. that mode. That mode. All the mode, other yep. modes were like, oh, this makes sense. Then okay. you get this one, you're like, yep. oh, five of my balloons are popped. Oh, I'm back. Yeah. What? What? Yeah, what? yeah right. Why am I back? Yeah. Especially I, back as a person with three balloons. Yeah. I, and then if those three balloons pop, you come back again and again yeah, and again. Right? It's yeah. not like it's not like there's a progression where you have five and then three and then two and then one. Well, I mean, yeah, or even no, five, three, but one. And and then I, I mean, I guess it. You know, it, there's an advantage of staying alive, but you know, because you get the points. 
and you lose points if you yeah you know, oh yeah blow because if, like if, that, if you but... lose balloons you lose you get negative points every time you hit someone you get a positive point and that's fine it's it just it, it's, the N64 version yeah. was better yeah it just feels like it's lacking something the N64 version was better and you know what and this is just a credit to one specific battle level in N64 but remember that one that had the four blocks oh yeah with yeah. the with the cross towers yeah. And so, they why did they not bring that back? I don't. That know. one would be awesome with these new battle modes. Yep, it would just be nuts. You know, like oh, I have fifteen coins. Let me go chill on top of one of these things. Yeah, until someone comes up there and does a freaking uh, hop over you and steals a bunch. Of your yeah, coins. right. <laughs> and then you're like, what the hell? Where did he go? He's gone. Yeah, you're but right. That mode would be. Uh, yeah, it, it, I like it. I like the maps. I, I like everything that they've done outside of the fact that. They've missed the mark on that particular mode. It may, it maybe you guys disagree out there. Maybe you guys are like, no, I like it better this way. Um, and that's cool. That's fine if you do. Let, let us know why you like it better this way. You know, Is it just because you never played the original way? The original way sounds dumb because you go out there and you're done in three seconds because you got tag teamed and yeah, right. now you sit around for 15 minutes as you wait for the match to get done, which maybe that's why Nintendo did what they did, but too bad. Yeah. It, Don't suck. Yeah. I know some of this random. You know, right, right, right. Out. No, you can't. You get screwed like, over like by multiple around, green shells. Like you go, you go around once, a corner yeah. and not even realize the guy's there and you hit by... It happens. Yeah, you right, hit by right, right. Yeah. Well, yeah, for sure. That happens well, all the time. Don't be dumb. <laughs> yeah, it's... But yeah. The thing is, it was fun. Um, I think the only reason that we ended up rushing through it at all was just because I, we wanted to get some Pooty Pooty Tetris in, which um, the thing with Mario Kart 8, it wasn't that we weren't having fun. It's just that been there done that exactly yeah i mean it's kind of in a way you if you played one mario kart game you kind of played them all in kind a way of, yeah in a way i mean they added there there's now three i mean these are all little technical things there's now three different types of drifts um, right there's uh what is it now you can have to hold two items in this one you yeah can do that right and i know people are going to be screaming at me no it's not but, well no no it, but, i mean it, it, it's one of those games you know what you get yeah. Okay. Like you buy yeah. a Mario Kart game, you don't get. You buy a Halo game, you know what you get. You buy right. a Zelda game, you usually know what you get. But <laughs> until they throw until a wrench Breath in of the, the Wild happened, the Skyward yeah. Sword also was like a big wrench and everything. And um, the Wind Waker at the time was a huge wrench. So I guess Zelda, you never really know yeah, what, right? you're, yeah. what you're gonna get. But uh, you know, it's just like 2D Mario game, side scroll Mario, you know what you're gonna get, etc. Um, and, and so that's kind of the way it is with with Mario Kart. You know what it is, and it's fun, and it's a lot of fun. New mm-hmm. courses, new new characters, new tracks, new abilities to do everything. It is fun. It, it is a, like a game I would want to have a, throw a party and just bring a bunch of people over, let's have some drinks, make a drink. Oh yeah, out of, yeah. Out of Mario Kart. Yeah, and we'll do every single thing there is to do Grand Prix. Oh yeah, 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 yeah we'll, for sure. We'll, we'll go online, and whoever finishes the worst has to you do know, something. Yeah, has to. We'll we'll, we'll play like the old Steve game, mix drinks up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Steve! Oh God, no, <laughs> no, not that game, Steve. Um. Yeah. So, it's probably a good thing we're not on what, camera if we <laughs> since we're talking about this and if anybody ever. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. Um. So, between the two games, which one do you prefer to play? I don't see. The thing is, is they both have their their strong points, and they're both totally different. So it's. I know. It, but but okay, you own them both. Let's say you, like, they're not my copies, they're your copies. Which one are you putting in your system to play when we're done with the podcast? Probably Poyo Poyo. Just because, Poyo Poyo Tetris. Just because it's it's something that I haven't played as much of as Mario Kart. Plus that single player will look crazy. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> I, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, <laughs> that's probably the one I'm putting in and playing, but... Yeah, it, it's it. Mario Kart definitely is a fantastic game. It 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 really is. So I mean, it's 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 hard to knock that too. So well, it's one of those things. I played the hell out of Mario Kart Eight, and I really only bought the game one because I'm, I'm going to do a review of it, but two, uh, just because I wanted to do Battle Mode again. Yeah, because I miss it. Right. And I like what they've done overall with Battle Mode. Um, you know, yeah, it's kind of, you know, as I said, it feels like something's missing in, in the Balloon Pop one, but it's like, oh, whatever. You know? It's one out of five. It, 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 it's, it's still not, it's not terrible. It's just, you just know in the back of your mind, yeah, this could have been better. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Um, whereas right now in Puyo Puyo Tetris, I can't even think of a criticism yet. Um, yeah. Yet? Yeah. Because it's a puzzle game. Right, like, right, right. right. You're going to criticize how the puzzle works? Right. You're going to huh? criticize how Tetris works? You can always criticize R and Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of, um, I mean, I guess if you don't like the art style. But yeah, their stuff but, doesn't bother me. Yeah, no, it's kitty, it's fun, it's yeah. whatever. It, it's meant to be for everyone, and it's great that way. Um, <laughs> yeah. I actually hope Puyo Puyo Tetris sells a ton. Like that would be awesome because I would like to see more more combination puzzle games like this. Like that's right. You know, I would even like to see them do it with certain board games. Like, can you imagine them bringing together like uh, somehow bringing like Risk and Stratego together in a game? That'd be interesting. That would be nuts. Or or Risk and Battleship. <laughs> life and monopoly <laughs> wait, <laughs> life wait. And monopoly. <laughs> wait. <laughs> <laughs> like, like just kind of crazy combos i could do um you know <laughs> i was just thinking flappy bird and candy crush together <laughs> well, how does that work what what how you fly, switch in between those <laughs> oh no oh my god i have a fantastic idea but i cannot say it on here because yeah we need to talk about this oh great this is another one of his ideas. Like, okay, let me give you one of the ideas he had when he came here today. He's like, oh, I talked to this buddy of mine, some financial guy. We should uh, start up a video game bar. And I'm like, well, those exist. I'm like, yeah, but not here. And I'm like, well, that, that that's great. It would probably do well. We have no money. So how's this going to happen? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I guess you can think on a great huge, idea. huge loan. <laughs> it's just a great idea, I'm damn like, it. Yeah, a huge loan that if we <laughs> don't, if we screw it up. Oh. See, and the thing is, I would be okay with it. Like, even taking out the loan, if I could get, like, someone like Nikki, who, you know, the bartender Nikki. Yeah. Uh, to be in on it, but she literally just bought her own bar. Oh, yeah. So it's kind of like, she can't be in on it because she already has her own thing going on. Let's like yeah. convince her to be like, hey, you bought that bar. Can we... Can we, can we come in can and... We, can we get, like, a 50% steak and yeah. uh, turn it into a video game bar? Yeah, Because right. you totally yeah. have never worked in a bar like that before, but... Right. We got you. 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 We got don't worry, Xbox guys. We'll get your Scorpios and your PS4s right. in there, yeah. and your gaming PCs. We'll, we'll make it worth it. Oh your yeah, while. for sure. We'll, we'll have we'll have rum chata dropping from the ceiling. Oh yeah, <laughs> making it rain. Making it making it rain rum chata and oh, give you so sticky. <laughs> yes, it would. <laughs> oh, I did. No, I'm not going there. No, <laughs> no, nope, not going there. Anyways, uh, so no, it's one of those things that. Uh, when he has these ideas, usually nothing's going to happen. So that's why I, I, he's so afraid to share this idea that nothing's ever going to happen with it. No, no. But I, I just don't want anybody to steal a damn idea. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, well good Go. thing I said I, I put out the idea from you that already exists. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I don't know. This one doesn't exist, so. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, <laughs> so for me, um, it's really weird because they're, they're, they are very different games. You have a kart racer and you have a puzzle game, and part of me is like you. Like I'm like, oh, put your Tetris all the way. Uh, because if it's newer, it's fresher, even though it's taken two old, you know, these puzzle games have been around for a while. Um, but, like, mashing them up together and the fun way it does it and all the cool different gameplay gimmicks there are um, is exciting, but it's exciting to me because it's fresh. Whereas Mario Kart, like... It's weird because I know, like, I, I, I keep picking Tetris because I know how to play Tetris. I'm, I'm decent at Tetris. And I'm not challenging myself with Puyo Puyo like I should be doing. Maybe that'll happen. But it feels weird because technically, I haven't experienced any of these battle modes in Mario Kart either. Like, right. they didn't exist before, Coin Run and, and Shine. Like, right. But it, at the same point, it's like, yeah, but in the choice of playing those new modes in Puyo Puyo Tetris, I kind of still want to play Puyo Puyo Tetris more. Yeah. Um, and it feels weird saying that because I just got done saying earlier, this is the best Mario Kart game. Yeah, right. For sure. That, that, that probably exists. Period. And it puts me in a weird spot because I'm going to have you all you guys hating me. Like, How can you pick a casual puzzle game yep. over yep. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? Well, as I said, there is the caveat that, one, I played a ton of Mario Kart 8 already. Right. Um, so some of the like Grand Prix stuff just doesn't appeal to me right now. Um, and I, yes, I know. I'll probably eventually three star all this. So, uh, if I'm gonna do a review, I gotta play some of the Grand Prix. Come on, you know, mm-hmm. I, I mm-hmm. gotta make sure that it's the same. Guess what? It's the same. It's the same. I mean, well, well. I mean, the thing is, you know, there are differences, like because of the extra side and the double items. Like, let's see if that actually makes any difference. 
it's still Mario Kart. I, I I can't imagine it making much of a difference, to be honest. Right. Um, but it is what it is. It is different. Um, maybe see how the stuff affects 200cc, which was brand new in Mario Kart 8. Uh, it's still one of those things that, like, I want to play them both, but Puyo Puyo Tetris just feels fresh. Yep. And the thing is, neither one of us are even big in the puzzle games, and we're just like, yeah, we've been big in the Mario Kart in the past, and it's just like, that should just tell you it's how good Puyo Puyo Tetris again, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, the it's... initial impressions of it, like, yeah. this is a fun multiplayer game. If you have a buddy... Uh, and you can play online with it too. So if you connect your switches or whatever, and you guys have switches, we play Tetris is available on other platforms as well. But um, it's just one of those games that, man, uh, when they said it was fun at the media events, like they're not kidding. It's just good fun. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was really cool the one time, like I recovered in Tetris and I was doing awesome, awesome. And I'm like, I'm not even fully recovered yet. And then you fucked up and lost. I'm like, how? You were down here on Tetris. I'm up here on Tetris. I'm slowly coming back, and all of a sudden you're like, <laughs> "Yeah, I, I told you, I'm terrible at Tetris." <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I think I think we'll just wrap up with uh, heavy recommend right now on Puyo Puyo Tetris. If you did not play Mario Kart Eight at all because you didn't own a Wii U or you did and you sold it or whatever the case may be, you just never played the game. Get Mario Kart Eight Deluxe if you like Mario Kart games because yep. it is the best one. It really is. Um, so, like, it's a strong recommend on both. Now, if you owned Mario Kart 8, that's a different story because the only reason to get Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is to play online. And Battle Mode. And Battle Mode, which you're primarily going to probably play online. Right. Uh, now, we haven't tested it, like, hooking up multiple switches and everything, so making sure all that works. I'm sure it works fine, but we haven't done that. We'll do. I'll make sure I get that done before the review goes live. But it, it's one of those things that... If you own Mario Kart 8 and you primarily play it single player and you just love the Grand Prix, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is not offering you much. The, you know, some new characters, yeah, a couple, a couple new cards and stuff. So uh, some different gameplay elements that don't really enhance the experience. But still, it's good. It's good. It's the definitive version. And if you care about owning the definitive version of a Mario Kart game, then then go grab it. Uh, both games are at least so far fantastic. Um, and we haven't experienced any bugs in them yet, which is which is always right, great. right. Um, but we haven't really played them all that. Well, I played much. I played a bit more of Mario Kart, but yeah. Um, as I said, I own them both, so it's like obviously strong recommend for them both. Um, of course, I also own two games I haven't played yet: Super Bomberman Red R and Afterbirth, Binding of Isaac, or Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Sorry, don't want to get that wrong. Um, and I haven't played either of those games yet, which I plan to do soon. And no, I did not have them at launch, so it's not like I've just been sitting on them. Well, I mean, you could forgive me if I was. Breath of the Wild, come on. Yeah, right. Um, but what's interesting, let me ask you this. This is a cool one. Breath of the Wild or Puyo Puyo Tetris? Ooh, yeah, I, that that's starting to get tough now. Because, like, yeah, yeah, Mario right, Kart right, is right, like, right. Oh, okay, whatever. Yeah. Like, we played a bunch of Mario Kart. Yeah. But it's like Breath of the Wild, yeah, we played a bunch of Breath of the Wild, but neither one of us have 100% in it. There's it, still it, a lot more to it go. It depends. If I'm by myself, it's Breath of the Wild all the way. Well, it's a fantastic single player. Game. Right. Well, yeah. And, so basically, it's, like, basically like, when I see you, it's going to be like, no, no, no. We're Puyo Puyo Tetris. Yeah. But when you're like off and you're going to be like, yeah, Breath of the Wild. Right. And, and I understand that Breath of the Wild is a single player game. But, you know, when we're hanging out and, I mean, don't get me wrong. It, it'd still be fun to just sit and play Breath of the Wild too. But yeah. as a as a competitive as we are. With each, oh, especially with perfect. each other, especially this with is, each other. Yeah. Um, um, so if if you guys, uh, in fact, uh, on the phone, we're my gonna, phone's dead. Remember. Phone, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna reach for my phone quick. Uh, so the reason I reach for my phone is because you're competitive. I got to see the results of the of the draft teams last week. Oh yes. Um, and so the reason that we got to see the results is, is it kind of proves how competitive we are. Now we didn't put any bets down on this one. Um, Which is actually unusual. It's for very us. unusual. I think it's just it slipped my mind. Yeah, yeah. Um, and because usually we give us a little bit of time to think of what we're gonna what we're gonna wager on it. Um, but I'll say this. I'll, I'll put this wager right now. Um, after I go look at the winner right here, um, whoever won this one, which I'm again looking up right now. Yep. Uh, maybe if I can find the video. <laughs> uh, whoever won this will be able to. Uh, how, how do I put this? Throughout this podcast, the video version, 
because I'm sorry, folks. I'm not putting Mario Kart 8 footage in again. I don't want to wait three days to get this episode out to you because I wait on Nintendo. So it's just Puyo Puyo Tetris the whole time, which is going to sound really confusing when you're right. When I'm basically going about... to release this as just one segment, so right. it would be less confusing. Right. Anyway. Um, but what we're going to do is, you know, we'll see how long the audio is and everything, and we're going to play the hell out of Puyo Puyo Tetris. Uh, but everything we're going to be doing is going to be competitive. And we're going to be keeping tallies on who's winning what, how often we're winning. Um, and who's going to get to choose what modes we're playing is going to be based on who won the staying poll and had the best team. Okay. Okay. So that that's kind of how we're going to, how we're going to do it. So like say uh, you're really, really good at a certain mode and you just want to keep doing that mode over and over again. Fine. I guess that's what we'll do for like an hour. <laughs> um, or maybe you'll finally get bored and decide you want to do something else. But we'll yeah. be keeping tally. Uh, yeah. And... I just said we gotta have a wager, so we gotta put something on it. Oh boy, something down. Yeah, I'll let you think about it uh, while I try to oh, find. Oh gosh, yeah. Try to find I, I know I was so. down earlier in the week for this. Yes, this, I know. Uh, I know. Well, you know when you do daily videos, there it is. Um, so, this is what, what 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 do you want to wager? Oh god, what I do don't you got? Know. What for Poyo Poyo? Yes. Oh gosh, I don't know. I can't think of anything right now. Nothing. <laughs> can't think of anything out of all yeah. the shit talking we do. I know. You can't think of one thing. No. Are you kidding me? No. My brain's not functioning right now. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. I'll tell you this. This is bad. All right. Whoever. <laughs> oh, oh boy. I, don't, I, can't, I can't even get the word out of my mouth. All right. Whoever loses overall. Has to like the Switch game. <laughs> <laughs> has to what? Like, like the, the Switch, Switch game. Switch card? No. I've already done that. I yeah, I know. So I've, I've, I've done it too. Oh, my God. Just because. No. Um, whoever loses. <laughs> I can't even say it. It's so. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay. boy. Who I... <laughs> has to crap himself? No, no, oh, okay. no, 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 no. No. Speaking of that, no. Yeah, I know, right? Um, there is no, a story about that, folks. Whoever loses. <laughs> you bastards. <laughs> Reverse snowing. Look it yes, up. Maybe yes. you'll find a, find it in the search. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> whoever loses overall on the following week podcast, um, towards the end, again, trying to keep family friendly a little bit, uh, okay. at the end of the podcast, gets to give the other person a power wedgie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> That's the way. All right. <laughs> And don't worry, folks. We'll, we'll like make sure editing. Like you're not seeing full ass going on. You'll just we'll be yep, yep. like front facing the camera, but you'll see the pain. Yep. You might e- you might even see the underwear over the head. We'll yep. see how yep. high it goes. Oh God. Sad I don't know why part, I said that. The sad part is, is I have the advantage because I'm taller. <laughs> Shut up. I know. I know. I'm gonna have to be like, Yuli, where's your heels? Like, I get <laughs> gotta get some extra height. Um, man, I still have. Okay, I'm on the episode. Where's the description? Oh. <laughs> Gotta, gotta love mobile. Yeah, all right, here we go. So who? So the person who's going to control what version we play, I almost voted for myself quick. Oh, yeah. Is me. Yeah. The winner is Link's Paradise with seven votes to total domination with five. Yep. So, it was the, so nobody else voted for no, this. No, it was six to four before. Oh, it was? So we, oh. So we had two, two more votes. Um, which, thank you. For the win. Yeah. This is just foreshadowing the win I'm going to have this upcoming, or during this whole podcast, because right now, we're, as we're recording, we don't know who won. Yeah, right. It's a punishment that we're going to probably bring up right away at the beginning of the next podcast, uh, which we we'll probably have to get Darren and some other people in just to, yeah. they can't, they won't see it, but they'll hear the pain. <laughs> they'll hear it like, oh! <laughs> oh my God, that was really <laughs> from the anus. Right, right. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be a rough one. Yeah. Well, thanks yeah. for joining us this week on the Nintendo Prime Podcast. Again, uh, for our video version, folks, I apologize that we don't have a proper video. It's just a bunch of poo you poo Uh But again, you're getting pretty rewarded yeah, right. next week when we bring the video version back. Uh, and yeah, obviously like and subscribe on YouTube if you liked us. Follow us on Podbean if you liked it on Podbean. Uh, follow us on Facebook. We're everywhere. Hey, just hey, look up Nintendo Prime. Hey, it's all us. It, it now gives a uh, uh, proper... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? A reason for the people who listen to audio <laughs> to now actually watch the, the video. video so you can see the because like I don't know if we're even gonna. Have, I don't think I'm even gonna put a running tally on the screen. It's just gonna be something we add up afterwards. Oh gosh. Okay. Yeah. So and I'll and, and 
I'll let you be here while I edit the footage so you can see I'm not cutting out little things. <laughs> like my wins. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, look. Hey, oh, look. look. He lost. Eric's win yep. magically disappeared. Yeah, right? I totally dominated everything. I thought I won one. I'm like, yeah, it's at the end. <laughs> you <laughs> won the final won one. one. You won the final one. I did? Yeah, I did. Oh, know. so you didn't even win any. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, gosh. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be nuts. Not that we probably <laughs> No one else we're going to keep track of what we play. So. Yeah, right? Because, again, we haven't recorded the footage yet at the time we're recording. Uh, anyways... Thanks for tuning in this week. Again, nice, short, sweet. <laughs> Not two, really, two actually. Oh, no, no. It, it's, dude, we've been doing two and a half hours. That's true. Guess, so. That is very true. All right. Well, we will catch you guys next week. Peace out. Later.
fall in love. Beat! 